Well, obviously, we're really excited to start another year. Um, for us going into our third year, we think we have a little bit better handle of how we want to play. Um, my expectations of our players and their expectations actually from me. So um, I think we have a huge uh, amount of trust now, and, and that's always great. And hopefully we can build on some of the success that we had late in the season, uh, this past season. And you know, as I've always said, I'm not a big, <laughs> uh, big guy for trying to tell people we're going to strive to finish fourth or fifth. You know, the goal is to, to win the Patriot League and go to the NCAA tournament. And so that is on the top of our building the board. And uh, we're going to do everything uh, possible in our power to achieve that. And we know it's going to be hard. And we know that um, right now probably the, both of those roads, if that's what's going to happen for us, are going to lead through Bucknell and Lehigh. Um, but I think we'll be up for the, for the challenge. And um, you know, this, this, is a, this is a great time of year because obviously it's early. And so everybody's got a, a lot of hope. Will the Crusaders add to it in the final 30 seconds? Here's Dudzinski. Sinks it. Really impressed with his game. Does a lot of different things there. Shows good range. I think one of our strengths, hopefully, this year will be our front court. Um, Dave Dzinski, uh his goal for, for us um, that I've told him is really right now with Lumpkins coming back into the league for American, but you have to do, you know, Gabe at, at Lehigh and, and obviously Mike at Bucknell, the three post guys that everybody talks about in the league. Well, his, his job is to make Dave Dzinski the fourth name. And, um, you know, that's what we're going to strive and be. I think he's good enough to do that. Um, I think he has enough experience on his belt that if he, if he plays the way he's capable of playing, he'll be the fourth post guy that people will have to talk about. And we're going to need him to do that in order to be successful. Uh, Phil Beans is another veteran guy coming back with Eric Obasaker as well, a very athletic player who, um, if everything goes according to schedule, he's going to have a possibility to lead the league in blocks, I think. Um, he can have that type of impact. And then another guy who's been great for us has been Taylor Apt, a sophomore for us. He's, he's really come along well. So our strength is going to definitely be in our front court. But... You know, with Justin Burrell, who was a rookie of the year, he, we're expecting big things from him and him to keep growing. And then some guys losing Devin Brown, losing R.J. Evans are going to be big boys for us, obviously. But really and truly, it gives a chance for Jordan Stevens, um, uh, Malcolm Miller, and Cullen Hamilton, and even Eric Green, another freshman for us, to get a chance. They, they want to play, too. So they're excited about getting their opportunity to showcase how good they are. Looking over to Goins, left side coming down all the way. Reverse layup. Oh, yes, got it. Wow. I've been really impressed with what D has done for us this year. He's going to actually um, give us some more flexibility because we're going to slide him off and play some off guard as well. Um, he's really worked on his game. Uh, I think he has a, a better uh, feel for what I'm looking for as a coach, and I think he really has a good understanding of what he can do. And um, he's really been playing very well for us at, at to this point. And so we're going to need to lean on a little bit his veteran experience, and then his versatility is going to absolutely be a must for us. So I'm, I think he's going to have a really, really good senior year for us. Here's Burrell over it goes to Jordan Stevens for the slam. Wow! Yeah, that kid can get on. Well, well, um, obviously I'm, I'm much more comfortable this year than I was in year one, um, and that that really goes to not necessarily. Uh, the coaching aspect, aspect, or even tell you the truth, the college is more so just getting to know you guys, and the guys getting to know you, and trying to create a culture that everyone understands. And right now, I think we're starting to really get it. And you know, guys are putting in, as we call the extra work. It's not really extra work. It's, this is the work that we do. We don't do extra work. This is the work that we need to put in. Um, so now our view has changed on that. Um, they understand where I'm coming from from a defensive aspect. We've tweaked some things for the people that we have for what we need to do offensively. Um, so I, I think just the comfort level for both sides, the players and for myself and the coaching staff, has really jumped up. And because of that, our trust level is through the roof. Um, we, we are really on point. Everybody's on the same page. So it's exciting to see what's going to happen for us this year. But I'm also excited about the, the, the upcoming years as well because we'll still have a bulk of the guys that will be back that are hopefully uh, will continue to embrace and just enhance the culture that we have right now. Really, really excited about getting the year started. Uh, I think it's going to be another exciting year. Obviously, the, the, I think the league is going to have a little more, a few more lights on it because of what happened for, uh, for Lehigh and obviously what happened with Bucknell as well. So um, hopefully a team like us, like Holy Cross, can capitalize not only just because there are going to be more lights on us. We think we have some good players as well. We understand that it's an uphill fight. But, but it is every year. So we'll be up for the challenge. You know, we just need to know the time and the place, and we'll show up ready to fight. <laughs>